Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. Um, I'm in the same outfit as I was in the other video simply because it's the same day and I thought why shouldn't I be so productive and just film two videos at the same time. So anyway guys, I'm supposed to do a video. The title of this video as it suggests is how I edit and how I don't take my how I just take if I was doing how I take and edit my videos, I would have been showing you posing styles, but I just pose randomly and the photo that looks the the most, the most what? The cutest is what I post and then, no, I edit and then I post. So I'm going to show you how I edit my photos. So from now, I don't think I'm going to, you're not going to see my face again. It's going to be a screen recording as I explain what I do, but even it's not going to be a detailed video or even a long video cause i do different edits depending on how the photo is depending on the lighting depending on how good the photo looks like that is when it's when the photo is doesn't have okay so what you like and say if the photo doesn't have like good lighting the editing is a little bit detailed if it's it's good um the lighting was good the editing is just minimal <laughs> it's minimal so Make sure you stick around to the end of the till the end of the video. I don't know why today I'm speaking Araka till the end of the video. Um, I hope it's not gonna be a long ass video. So watch till the end and make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you share this video. And yes, tell a friend, tell a friend that Juki Omoro has a channel. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So we go to my albums. And then let me show you some photos I edited a long time ago. This was using Pixart. I don't remember how I did them, but they looked quite nice. So yeah, let me now take you to to the album that I named how I edit that I can show you how I edit my photos. So the first photo of this one. So we're going to go to how I edit thick airbrush then now go to library go to the album I saved how I edit and then yeah here it is so the photo that I showed you guys here it is so we start editing smoothen the face a little bit and then go to skin tone then make the photo a bit lighter then from there we go to enhance reduce the contrast up to where you want then sharpen up to where you want then saturation add saturation then now we go to we choose a filter from the package every day we choose the last filter then add the filter and reduce it a bit then go back to, to skin tone and then darken the photo a bit because it's too light and then yeah i think i'm done then you save it so yeah that is all i do it's not too detailed and then now i think we go back to our photos choose the photo that i'm supposed to edit next this one so we'll get back to our app that's airbrush and then we choose the photo there it is so we start the process again smoothen a bit and then go to skin tone make the photo lighter and then now go to enhance we reduce the contrast we sharpen a little bit and then we add saturation and then again we go to to the filter the everyday package still and then choose the that last filter and then add it to the photo um, reduce it a bit and then now go back to skin tone to darken again and then yeah that's that I'm done with the second one and i think now i'm gonna show you like the last one i think all these photos had good lighting so it was easier for me to edit so this is the last photo that is the raw file so then we go again to airbrush 
we pick our photo again same process smoothen a bit then go to skin tone lighten the photo and then go to enhance definitely reduce the contrast sharpen a little bit up to where you want and then add saturation and then go back to our filter again the everyday package and then go to the that last filter add the filter and reduce it a bit then go to to skin tone and then darken the photo a little bit and then yeah i think i'm done the three photos had the same type of edit so i'm not gonna show you how to use pick that these were the raw files now let me show you the edited ones one two three that is how they look and yeah let me now show you using a different app for different edits i'm not going to show you how to use lightroom so we're going to go to our photos tap on the album how i edit this is the photo we are going to be editing and then we go to lightroom now pick our photo from the album how i edit the album yes how i edit this is the photo now so we start you tap auto and then from there we go to color you tap tint you add tint up to where you want for me i wanted the pink details still to be seen sana and then now we go to effect you tap behave you make the photo a little bit darker and then from there if you want grain you can add grain if you don't want grain you can just let it be so yeah that is how our photo looks like and now you save it to camera roll and then let us go and check how it looks now from photos and yeah this is how our photo looks like yeah that is how you edit using lightroom on to the last app that is pixart so we're going to go i'm going to show you the photo we're going to edit from pixart the video photos this is the second one and then now the last one and then now we're going to go to our app pixart and then go to my profile and then tap apple Jew where i've saved them and then i'm gonna pick this specific one that i want to use this one and then now i'm going to select the first photo i want to use which is this one so you add it there and now try and make the photo blend with your background so there and then now we're going to erase the parts where the background has come into contact with the body so we're going to erase so that you can be left with my with the photo itself without the background having to interfere so i'm going to be doing more of erasing and restoring where i think i've erased a lot so this is the process of doing all of that Erasing, restoring till you get whatever you want. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I erase and restore till I'm satisfied. And then, um, mm -hmm. I think I'm almost done. And then, where? Well, let me wait. It is a process you get so then you tap next and then the next thing is adding the second photo so we're going to replace the photo you're seeing there with my photo i'm going to look for the photo in my gallery and then we find the photo we replace it with what you're seeing right now that's my photo so we're going to tap this thing that is there up so that you can remove the excess background we have because we don't want the photo in the background and then we're still going to do the same erase and restore till the photo looks perfect to fit in with the other one and then now i'm gonna move it to a place where i want it to be so it will be more of moving the photo till i get like a perfect position for it somewhere there slightly above the first photo 
and then there yeah, now then we're going to add the red photo replace the photo you're seeing with the photo i want so we look for a photo till we get the photo we were actually supposed to use and then now we add the photo right is same thing as we did to the second one and first one is this the background then do a lot of erasing so that you can get like the whole photo in it so i think it's okay now we can now move the photo to where i want it to be so there and then now we are going to tap next we add saturation and then i'm going to tap next to the five fifth of eight effect we you we tap none and then now that's next the next step we don't want that a bit so we skip and then now we go to this filter you add the filter and then tap next and then now we don't want that one so we we'll just skip so now we want to save the photo this is how it looks like you save it to the gallery and yeah this is how it looks so this is now look at the photo from the photos from my gallery now and this is how the photo looks like i love the outcome and yeah that is how i use big sets. this is the last thing i'm showing you guys uh using lightroom i won't show you the various presets i bought so i'm gonna take a photo from my favorites a photo i took a long time ago and then i'm going to go straight to my presets these are the presets i have i have like five or six um yeah, i think five or six so those ones they're changing from one to the other one and then now the last one but it'll basic this one which is my favorite so we're going to save the the photo so i think i'm done um i hope the video is going to be of help to all of you who wanted to know how i edit my photos so yeah, I'm sending you love and light. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you share this video. I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.